Hi, my name is Marcus, and in this video I will show you how to download the flight records from the DJI GO 4 app from your Apple iPad or iPhone, and then put them onto your PC and upload them online where others can view the flight records. The first thing you need to do is plug in your iPad or iPhone via USB to the computer, and then plug the other end of that cable, whether it be USB or Lightning, to your iPad or your iPhone, and then unlock the iPad or iPhone screen. If Windows File Explorer pops up a window indicating internal storage, you can go ahead and close that window. It does not contain the logs that you're looking for. What you need to do is open up iTunes. If you do not have iTunes installed on your Windows PC, go ahead and download the file and then install it and then open the application. Once iTunes opens, it'll take a few seconds for it to detect the iPad or iPhone and then synchronize with it. Once it does, you'll see an icon appear right up here underneath the word account and to the right of the word music. Click on that icon. Next, select File Sharing. Then select DJI Go 4. And then these are the files and folders relating to the DJI Go 4 app on my iPad or on your iPad or iPhone. You would want to select Flight Records. Once you're on Flight Records, select Save and then navigate to a location on your computer where you'd like to save the flight records. So here I'm gonna just select my desktop. At that point, you can go ahead and close iTunes. Next, you'll see a folder on your desktop called Flight Records or wherever you saved the files on your PC. In this folder, there'll be a variety of text files. Those are the files that you'll want to be uploading in the next step. To share the files with others, open up a web browser and go to phantomhelp.com slash logviewer slash upload. Once there, select I'm not a robot, select browse, select the file that you want to upload, then select open, and then select upload log, and then wait for that log to upload. Once the log is uploaded, you can copy the URL right here and then select close. And then you can paste that address or URL into a forum or email it to a friend so they can see the flight log. The type of information you can see includes the time, the flight mode, how many satellites you have, IMU altitude, VPS altitude, speed, home distance, battery, battery voltage, cell one, two, three, and four voltage, and then cell deviation, and then there's a message as well. So this is the type of information you can see. You can either scroll up and down to a specific point in the flight. So here at eight minutes into the flight, there was 21 satellites. We had altitude of the IMU indicated was 2.6 feet. VPS indicated 8.2. I was going 3.7 miles per hour. I was 1,000 feet from the home location and battery percent was 24%. Um, also on the top, you'll see this green circle. You can scroll through the flight. And as you do that, you'll see there's stick information that's appearing here in terms of what stick inputs were occurring or were not occurring. You can see the horizon here. So this is flight data. It's a representation of your flight. It's very similar in nature to what you see when you're in the DJI Fly app looking at your flight history there. But here you're able to export it, upload it online, and then share the information with others to review. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please go ahead and do so. I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.